Hey everybody, welcome back to the Electric Avenue video channel. Uh, man, there's a ton of stuff going on this week. Um, so I guess I'm going to try and stick a little more to the business side this time. Uh, I'll say thank you to those of you who went ahead and responded last time to my uh, sort of inadvertent request for positive uh, reviews. I think um, that was very kind of all of you who did that, and um, much appreciated. Uh, uh, won't, I won't take any more time uh, dealing with uh, talking about that at the moment. So let me just get on to some uh, new release info and um, show you what sorts of things are around this week. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna kick. Oh, I'm in a different corner too. I, I suppose you probably noticed that try and mix it up a little bit. It's always hard setting these things up and then you think, gosh, I look like crap. And it was this week I discovered that um, many of you, well, I'd heard this a while back, but many of you are actually watching these things on your televisions. And I'm like thinking, oh no, I need a makeup team. Uh, I need better lighting. Um, today I feel a little flushed probably because uh, it's so warm here and I've been doing some physical things in the shop trying to get these records together and uh, on top of that uh, it's also I got a shingle shot earlier this week maybe that dates me but uh, huh, three days later and it's still kind of sore so who knows anyway gotta time all these vaccines out right all right so first thing I'm going to show today is the new uh, Deaf Heaven, which um, actually came out a week ago. Uh, if you didn't get it, it's Infinite Granite. I know it's sort of controversial for them because it's a, more of a shoegazy record and more melodic than usual. Some people love it. Some people think they've taken the worst turn in their career. I guess if you want to liken it to how a band like King Gizzard is always sort of every album is different. I mean, maybe that will give you an entry point. I'm not sure. But if you like 90s My Bloody Valentine or Slow Dive, that might be the record for you. Uh, one big thing this week in the jazz reissues is Trio 64 by Bill Evans. And this record, uh, Guy Peacock on bass, uh, Paul Mo Motion on drums. I think I'm saying that right, or Modian. Um, this is an acoustic sounds release. Uh, Analog Productions is sort of involved with them. This is basically Verve's answer to Blue Notes Tone Poets. So uh, they probably won't be real easy to get for very long. So get on that if you want that. Um, still waiting for the actual box set of these. Well, I don't know. It depends on when this video goes up. I may already have them. Um, but... This is kind of exciting. It's the Beach Boys, Feel Flows. So really what this is, is this is the regular record. Two landmark Beach Boys albums plus eight previously unreleased bonus tracks. It's the Sunflower and Surf's Up albums. Uh, Surf's Up is pretty great. I don't know if I've heard Sunflower in a while, but this is the period right after Smile. Uh, what would have been Smile. Um, it's odd on the vinyl how they've inserted the bonus tracks. They, they do the entire album, but they put the bonus tracks, some of them, at the end of side A and side B in both cases. So uh, one, you'll get uh, Disney Girls, and then two tracks later, you'll get the live version of Disney Girls. So um, it's a little odd with the arrangement. There are uh, vinyl box sets and CD box sets of that, though, as well. And the CD one is quite expansive. So check it out if you're into Beach Boys and that era. I mean, that's one of their best eras, I think. Uh, churches are back with their new album, Screen Violence. Boy, that's a great cover. It's almost like horror film sort of inspired. Robert Smith of The Cure does a duet on this record. I think Haley Williams of Paramore as well. Um, supposedly it's a little, uh, deeper and darker than their last record, which they sort of got a little bit of critical, 
criticism for being a little more lightweight. So it's their fourth album already. Uh, this is a big deal this week, Big Red Machine. Uh, if you guys didn't hear the first Big Red Machine album, you really missed out, especially if you're a Bonnie Vera fan. Um, the, Justin Vernon had a lot of great stuff on there. It was him with uh, the Nationals' Aaron Dessner. And if you're not aware, the two of them have gone on, especially uh, Aaron Dessner has had great involvement in the last couple Taylor Swift albums. Bonnie Bear has a well, as well, <laughs> Justin. And Taylor Swift actually guests on this record, and so does uh, Fleet Foxes. So you might want to check that out. It also has Sharon Van Etten, Lisa Hannigan, um, My Brightest Diamond, Anias Mitchell. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of people on it, but Taylor is on looks like two tracks. Um, okay, well I have to censor this one a little bit. It's Halsey's new record. Uh, the cover is pretty. I mean, it's a Janet Jackson moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the interesting thing about this record, and I, I haven't heard it yet, is that Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross produced this, uh, which was my first kind of inkling of them doing a pop-based record. Maybe they're getting tired of soundtracks and they just want to branch out, so, um, anyway, I have to be careful about how I refer to Halsey now because I think she's going by a they, so, um, different pronounage. But anyway, uh, she just had a baby, so there was a lot, uh, a lot of emotion that went into making this record. So um, anyway, hope to hear it shortly. Uh, moving right along, there's a Megadeth. Uh, this is unplugged. Can't imagine on silver vinyl. This is sort of or clear vinyl. Sorry, this is sort of limited. Um, so recorded in 2001. Um, and then there's also, in metal, there's a Fallujah reissue, and they had a Record Store Day album. This is called Dreamless, which is one of their um, classic 2014 album, if you're into metal, limited to 500 on electric blue vinyl. So I have one of 500. It probably won't be around for very long. Something I'm really excited about, and I can't wait to see the movie, and I was having issues this weekend with my uh, streaming service, so I still got to correct that, is Sparks with the Annette soundtrack. These are fairly limited, to This is the, uh, uh, the American edition, which is really sort of highlights from the soundtrack. Uh, it's like 15 songs. Adam Driver and Marion Cotillard star in this movie. Uh, Simon Helberg also from... Big Bang Theory, supposedly he uh, practically steals the movie. But uh, Adam Driver plays a pretty unsavory character, I guess. And uh, Sparks, one of my favorite bands uh, from L.A., the Mail Brothers, did the soundtrack. So um, check it out. People say it's sort of rock opera-ish a little bit. Um, speaking of movie kind of centric or sort of themes of like... Uh, film sort of related or comic related. We've got Dark Knights. This actually came out a couple weeks ago. We finally got it. Uh, the Death Metal soundtrack. This has people, uh, Mastodon, Rise Against, Soccer Mommy, Manchester Orchestra, Denzel Curry, Chelsea Wolfe, and among others. Basically, they're people that were inspired by certain um, comics and have written songs based on specific characters of comic books. That's an interesting idea, I think. Interesting concept. Uh, also out this week on a very limited, uh, this is an indie store exclusive, but it's the Dark Knight soundtrack. Um, this is on Neon Green and Violet Splatter vinyl. It's two LPs, Joker inspired, <laughs> Neon Green and Violet. Uh, this is obviously the Christopher Nolan soundtrack, so, um, cool cover art. Anyway, check that out. Uh, some of you are probably into that. Okay, you know, these guys, incessant releases, really, but, um, and lots of live ones, but this one's, um, kind of cool. This is King Gizzard live in London. Um, I don't think this is going to be around for very long. There's only, like, I don't know, it looks like maybe 30 copies. I can't tell. 
It says it's the second edition, though. So, uh, anyway, their new album, Butterfly 3000, I've had a lot of requests for that. The vinyl comes out on September 10th. It was originally scheduled for uh, last week. So, we got like a three week delay. Uh, and there's like 10 different versions of that, depending on uh, what the language of the inner sleeve is, apparently. So, be on the lookout for the Turkish version of their new. Now, that is a great album. I really enjoyed it and play it a lot this summer. It's a very Tame Impala esque sort of album. I know I keep saying that. Porcupine Trees Recordings. Uh, this is just a reissue of um, Stupid, Dream, Stupid Dream and Lightbulb Sun Sessions. Um, so there's that. Death Cab for Cutie, the Georgia EP. These are songs that they sort of. Um, Peach Vinyl, kind of dedicating to artists from Georgia. So there's, uh, they cover TLC, Neutral Milk Hotel, REM, Vic Chestnut, and Cat Power. Uh, he does Waterfalls. Um, Sun Volt, Straightaways, a reissue of this album. This is limited to 1,500 turquoise colored copies. I bet this won't be around for very long. It might not even be around once this video is up. So that's how fast these things are going right now. Uh, Supergrass in it for the money. Probably, for me, it might be my favorite record of theirs. They had, um, like, their first three or four were really, really great. 1997 album, remastered from original analog tapes. Um, that's an import, I think. We're still waiting for the, the imports to show up for the first two garbage albums are being reissued. So if you missed those for Record Store Day a couple of years ago, uh, you'll get another chance at them, So, which is great. I think they're already out in England, so it just takes time to get them on a ship and over since we're not, we don't have as many planes flying. Uh, and John Mellencamp's The Good Samaritan Tour 2000. So John is gonna be releasing these kind of random collections of things. Uh, this one, he does interesting songs like In My Time of Dying, All Along the Watchtower, Street Fighting Man, sort of socially conscious things that people might know, not know as much about John. So that's kind of cool. So um, most of you, uh, there. oh, and uh, is there anything else I'm waiting for? I think that that's most of, oh, I forgot to say I also have the new J. Cole. J. Cole came out on vinyl too. Um, which is great because a lot of people love Jay. Anyway, so uh, I'll probably show it next time. I didn't have it in my pile, sorry. Um, so a lot of you probably knew that, you know, George Harrison released All Things Must Pass as a deluxe edition a couple weeks ago. This is the... Uh, 3 LP version. There was a 5 LP and an 8 LP. It was very well received and um, except for one of the guys that played on it who has an infamous YouTube video. But uh, it did very well and so that uh, you probably heard, I don't know if you heard recently, but the Beatles are finally releasing the Let It Be box set and that whole rollout is coming this fall and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, the last thing I sort of wanted to mention here, well, let me just mention this. So um, I already showed this a little while ago too. This came out um, maybe three, two or three months ago, which was the Black Sabbath Sabotage box set. And this was like a four LP, five, four LP and a seven inch set. And one reason that I'm mentioning this is because um, it's got a really good concert in it, and a lot of these have had really good concerts, and that's probably one of the main reasons to buy those things. And they are also releasing one of their probably most controversial albums that it wasn't so well received was Technical Ecstasy. Um, some people love that record, but that's coming out October 1st as a very similar sort of box set to that. Um, I just was going to kind of like run down some of these highlights because there's so much coming out. Uh, and what next week is uh, September 3rd around here will be uh, the new Iron Maiden, which is like over an hour long and comes in two or three different formats. 
Uh, vinyl, I think, is three records and runs around 50 or somewhere in that neighborhood. Also, um, My Morning Jacket has a live record coming out. Taylor Swift, the, uh, the, her version of the Fearless album will be out on vinyl. Uh, so there's quite a few sort of like things they're kind of cleaning up from the summer to, uh, there's a Rory Gallagher box set. His first album comes out then, then we're talking September 10th. So that's when, um, I mentioned the King Gizzard, the Modest Mouse album, the recent one that's been out for three months on CD is finally out on vinyl. That's a great record. And, um, there's also the Metallica box set which is uh, the Black Album, and that, uh, there's, so there, there's a big deluxe edition of that coming out, and, uh, you know, I think that that's a pretty iconic record, and I can see a lot of people being interested in it. It runs around $250, which seems to be about the normal price for these super deluxe versions of things, but, hey, listen to what's in it, though. 14 CDs, <laughs> Five albums and six DVDs, uh, plus a ho host of other paraphernalia and collectible stuff. Um, I'm sure there's a book of some kind in there. So, you know, if you're a serious Metallica fan and you love that record, and people say, 16 CDs, my God, what's on them? Uh, you know, I'm sure there's a fair amount of live material. Um, I haven't looked at all the track list, but I'm just making you aware of it if you weren't aware of it. Uh, September 17th, there's a Bob Dylan box set. It's the first five years of the 80s, uh, springtime in New York. It's a five CD box set, or they're putting it out on two records. Um, if you got in on uh, Third Man, had sort of a limited thing where you could get all of the extra stuff through them, but you had to sign up back at the end of July and uh, for the vinyl. Um, so the vinyl that we're getting is sort of like the cut down version, but, uh, but the CD is like a full version. All right. So I mentioned, um, October 1st with, uh, Black Sabbath, Technical Ecstasy, and there's also two Steely Dan live records coming out that day. One, and their recent live performances a couple years ago, one is all Steely Dan material and the other is Donald Fagan's Nightfly. So those might be of interest to Steely Dan fans. All right, so the big thing I was kind of mentioning, Let It Be, and that box set was just announced for October 15th, 2021. Um, five, five records in the box. There's the new mix of the album, the second record's Get Back, the Apple Sessions, the third record is Get Back, Rehearsals, and... Um, jams and then the fourth one is the unreleased glenn johns version of the album which i think is very interesting and uh the let it be ep is the fifth record um it also comes as a cd box set uh and so there are multiple choices there for what you might be looking for october 22nd the week after we just lost charlie watts from rolling stones r.i.p I don't know how Keith Richards is still breathing and Charlie's gone, um, but <laughs> that's more of a personal issue, I think. Um, the, love those guys. No, no offense, no offense, Keith. Um, he might, he might agree with me. Tattoo you, uh, tattoo you is finally coming out as a box set, also, and that's also a five LP set um, or a five, five, a four CD and a picture disc set. So, and. Uh, those run between 150 and 200, depending on what they are. October 22nd, there's a Nick Cave box set, uh, B-Sides and Rarities, Volume 2. So you can get Volume 2, which is a, like a 2LP set uh, or a standalone CD by, by itself, I believe. But uh, if you want to get Volume 1 on vinyl as well... Uh, the only way that you're going to be able to get that is if you buy the entire box set, which is one and two together. It's sort of like they're putting it as out as one package, a couple hundred dollars, seven records. Um, and I didn't, forgot to mention that Metallica, too, they also have a, a seven record, four or four CD set of uh, people covering songs of 
Metallica's Black Album coming out as well. I mean, yeah. October 29th, R.E.M. releases New Adventures in Hi-Fi, the deluxe edition of that. November 5th, there's a 9LP Billy Joel, uh, all of his albums from the 70s, plus an unreleased live record. Uh, then we get to November 19th, there's Genesis with The Last Domino, which is a 4LP set. Uh, and then there's also Oasis live at Nebworth in 1996 another sort of thing uh and other random box sets i saw listed from like elvis presley and the replacements so you might want to check those things out uh and the weirdest one of the day or i should say most unexpected was uh abba sort of posting a cryptic message on their site about uh voyage which i guess is their first unreleased material in 40 years or re released material in 40 years so far they've only said that there are about five songs that they've been working on um which comes out to what one song every eight years <laughs> not highly prolific then considering that back in the day they were putting out about an album every year um so and apparently there's going to be some hologram tour attached to this. I'm not really sure. It's all very cryptic, but they're at least confirming the information now that it is, is really going to happen. So, hey, Mamma Mia fans, get your bell bottoms on. <laughs> all right. Um, hey, well, you know, fun. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, look, I, one of the first records I ever bought was probably, well, I'm sure, I have, it was an ABBA record. Um, I think it was Super Trooper. I don't remember which one, but, uh, I liked their voices as a kid. I'm not going to lie. So, um, I mean, I still like their voices. Come on. This is the thing. People talk about guilty pleasures. I mean, should they be guilty unless they're, I mean, if they're just a pleasure, you shouldn't be guilty about it unless it's something that's causing you harm or causing others harm, I suppose. But, uh. Anyway, um, well, you see, you had Billy up here, you got Lord, you got Olivia Rodrigo. I mean, these people are, they've been flying off the shelves. And so as we all go back to the fall, um, you know, they're, keep an eye on my mask updates right now. It's still masks optional, but um, I've been doing that for about six weeks now, five, six weeks. Um, it's, I guess it's been going okay. I seem to feel like there's more people coming in with masks on again. So, um, you know, maybe we're changing again. But anyway, I'm running out of time. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you're not watching this on a massive TV. <laughs> you can watch it on, like, a little TV. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Take care. Be well.